This is Constable Scott Mills with the uh, Toronto Police. Uh, down in the Ossington Avenue laneway, it's obviously not finished. Um, and it's the first time I've actually walked down here since all the artists were done. And uh, I've had some uh, really good feedback uh, from some residents down here about the go-forward strategy and what has been done to date. We've got one uh, person who works down here. I don't even know his name, but... <laughs> hey, my name's Del. <laughs> what do you think, Del? Uh, what do I think? Well, I've seen... Uh the painters come by uh, after a threat from to the owners of getting fined. I've seen the painters come by and spray paint this wall brown, I think, three times now. And within uh, 24 hours, uh, it was painted over again with graffiti. So I guess uh, painting over the graffiti is not the solution. Um, but I, I've seen pieces of uh, you know artwork up on, on the walls that have been there for years, and nobody's uh, sprayed over them. So I guess there's a big respect thing. Uh, in, in that sense, and uh, so I, I think that uh, this kind of stuff is is bullshit. But uh, the the artwork is beautiful, and you know what? I, I think I think it's a little bit more interesting. It adds character, and uh, you know, it's it's a lot better than a than um, a, a painted uh, a painted uh, garage door or a garage door with graffiti on it. Cause it's just an eyesore, and it's horrible. And I think. You know, as a, as a venue to go out and um, you know let out let out some of your uh, rebellion and go out and spray paint uh, spray paint walls and alleys. Um, I think there's much more things, uh, much more constructive ways to spend your time. You know, such as developing some artwork. And I've seen the artwork down the street, and it's beautiful. And uh, you know, yeah, I, I I wish I wish I think that's the solution. I wish the city. Uh, you know, would uh, be more accepting for it. I don't know if this is sort of a pilot project. I know they've done this other places, but um, I think that, uh, yeah, I think it, it definitely works. And uh, these guys that are going out and, and vandalizing the walls definitely respect the artwork. So uh, where there is artwork, there's no graffiti. Well, thanks a lot for Thank talking you. today. It'll be up on YouTube. Oh, really? Just uh, query uh, T. Dot Lane Art or something like that, or okay. Ossington Laneway, whatever you want on YouTube. And find the video. I'm just going to walk to the end. Right on. Thanks, man. Appreciate your time. Take care. All right. Well, we're going to walk down here and just let the camera do the talking here. Didn't get permission to do those, but hopefully uh, we'll get some permission. Nice. No permission, hopefully to get some permission. I stopped and looked at that one for a long time. I think it's pretty cool. This one was here before. Love it. It's here before. This one was here before. Awesome. Something tells me this isn't a broken alley anymore. But it's definitely not repaired, repaired yet. Work in progress. Thanks to everybody who participated. Whether you were an organizer or a volunteer, artist, property owner. Remember the media who came down and covered it? Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, beautiful puppy. Good job. Thanks a lot for lending your talents to the Laneway project there's we could do better on this one this one's awesome great stuff need some permission for these obviously 
love this perspective right here if you just stand right here i just talked to a property owner we didn't get permission there but i talked to the property owner who owns number fifty three over there with some eager art on it i just took a picture right here i thought that was really neat this is so amazing the property owner that was just here he had the door open when I came by and he said uh, do you want me to put it down so you can take a picture that's what this is all about it's the Academy Alliance they got the door open so you can't see the full piece looks like maybe there's something happening here I don't know good stuff need some permission here there's that little truck that uh, Christine had an idea to paint at the Unity Festival. Maybe we can do something with that. Need some permission for that one. Saw pictures of this one online. Looked absolutely phenomenal. Some amazing artwork down here. Wow. Like amazing absolutely phenomenal talk to the gentleman making this stone here he's on my way down and uh, he was quite impressed with the artwork and he kind of said the same thing as uh, the gentleman who you heard with at the start is that if we could get some more permissions down here and finish this laneway off we could uh, really make this a uh, tourist attraction art gallery so Toronto Ontario Canada Ossington Street from Humbert down to Queen on the west side of Ossington running north and south an address for Google Maps is uh, 64 Ossington Avenue, which is the Academy Alliance. And uh, we're hoping to get the CrossFit Graffiti Art Program up and running for the fall again and continue our work out here. Thank you to everyone involved, especially Christine Kilpatrick and Steve Ferrara, Lisa Martin from Well and Good, and Danny Oaks.